DJ Pro has an amazing feature called Ableton Link. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to set it up for DJ Pro on the Mac. So it is a little bit hard to find on the Mac. It's a lot easier on the phone or on the iPad. So I had some difficulty uh, in that actual help. It says that it's supposed to be over here, settings, advanced, and then it was supposed to be like right around here. That's what it was saying on the official support page, but they must have changed it and not updated the support page because in order to do this, you have to go all the way up here to the left. There's no indication over here by your volume. Now by your volume, we have our main volume over here, and then we have configure audio devices and then Ableton link. So you have to have this selected and on, and then you have to have this feature on on either the same app for the iPad or the phone or on uh, or on separate apps. But the one thing that is very important is both of the devices that you want to connect have to be on the same Wi-Fi. So now you're going to press turn it on with this little toggle switch and now it, it starts spinning. You'll see a spinning icon over here and it says connect it to zero apps. So this is how you are going to connect it if you wanted to use the app for the iPad and the app for the Mac. So we are going to go to the middle button here. You might be in modes, but you're going to want to go to settings. You go to settings here, scroll down just past where it's set and Ableton link. So now we are going to turn that on. And now it says one link over here. And then over on, on the laptop, it says one link. It says connected to one app. So why would you use this feature? What does it do? This feature is going to, is going to allow you to use the sync on multiple devices with different apps. So maybe you and your friend want a DJ, maybe one person's scratching and the other person's doing the looper. So you could have it, let's give, give the example, I'm setting a looper here and my friend is going to be, is going to be playing a track over here. So if you look at, at the laptop, this is at 120 BPM. Start a little loop. And now look at the iPad, the iPad, BPM for this song is 85. So if you play it on, nothing happens. What you have to do is press sync. It automatically knew that to go to 120 because these are linked. So with this going would be the same exact sync connection as if you had the same song on a deck on one device and you were trying to sync it to the looper. So if you're in like a DJ group and you have multiple members, maybe one person could be DJ, one person could be scratching, you could use it that way. Also, if you want to have a backup device, like if you plan on DJing with your laptop, but you're going to bring your iPad or your phone, it's a good idea to have it sunk in. So if something happens on your main device, then you can just switch and be at the same BPM on your other device. Also, if you like to get really creative and use multiple apps at the same time, DJ Pro does have an amazing looper, amazing samplers, and so many built-in features. But there's also other great DJ apps and loopers and drum machine apps that you could link it to as well. So now I am going to go on my iPad to remix live. Let me just, I'm just going to disconnect this. Now we're going to go to remix live. And now in remix live, whichever app you want to use, you you are going to go to your settings in that app and go down. Some apps might automatically have it enabled. Some might not. This one had it. So now Ableton link is enabled. And then now if we look, if we look here, it says three links. And if we look on our laptop, three links. So I haven't tried. I think I only connected like three or four at the same time. But I'm pretty sure that you could keep that you could connect a lot of different apps. So now I'm just gonna disconnect it from this. We have the app on our laptop, and then now I'm gonna go to Remix Live. Make sure we have Ableton Link enabled, and it's connected. Now let's just change this BPM for the example. I'm gonna go. So now the BPM is 134. When we set a loop on, when we set a loop or a beat 
on the Remix Live, which is a completely different app. Put sync on. So now this app is at 120. The laptop app is at 120. Let's move it up on the laptop. And now look how cool that is. As we move it up on the laptop, it moves up on a completely different device. On a completely different device and a completely different app. So you can really let your creativity run wild. You could DJ with your friends. You could use other apps that you love as long as they have the Ableton Link feature. And it's a great way to add something more exciting to your DJ performances. And if you want to see my full beginner tutorial on this amazing app for the laptop, check out this video over here.